All right, we had a uh, very good day on the river today, throwing these strap jigs. Here's the uh, trip report from our trip on the Susquehanna. Um, caught a couple in the upper teens. The biggest one was a 19 and a half incher. Um, I keep track of the details of each each catch um, and tie that to things like river level, water temperature, weather and such. Um, helps me pattern fish a lot better. Here's the 19 and a half. That was the biggest one. Uh, I take pictures of them on a on a hog trough. It's for a uh, an online catch photo and release tournament through this website right here, kayakbassfishing.com. Um, you can see the uh, strap jig right there, still in the corner of his mouth. Um, it all starts with this Do It mold. This is for a quarter ounce walking sinker, and that's that's it right there. It's a uh, it's a great weight. It's it's commonly used for Lindy rigging. Uh, it doesn't snag very much, and that's why I used it for the basis of making the strap jig. Uh, this right here is nothing more than an iron-on patch. It's a, it's a fairly durable uh, fabric. I cut it into, into straps, hence the name strap jig. Run it through the, uh, the eye and the weight. Make up a bunch of those. And then I get a glass rattle. I'll put these glass rattles on there just with a plain old black duct tape. Next thing I do is I use this this craft foam here. I'll cut a piece like that and I'll, I'll tie it right to the the top of the body of the the strap jig and I'll tie that the two ends of that strap in place there. That's eventually where I put the hook. Um, next thing I do is I, I'll cut strips of the rabbit. Those are going to be the claws. I'll cut that from uh, zonker strips there. And then I'll cut, this is the round rubber that becomes the antenna. Here, um, here are two of them right here. And after I tie the, the foam body, I'll tie both the crayfish claws and this round rubber and um, as I, you can, you can see as I tie the body on there, I make little body segments just by, just by virtue of how I tighten down on that. And uh, that's basically it. That, is, that in and of itself is not going to catch much. It's, it's all predicated on this hook right here. This is a... Matsuo Sickle Octopus. It's a size 4. Um, I started using this for nose hooking soft plastics. Um, 3 inch Sankos drifted in current and uh, really thought I wanted to somehow incorporate that into a jig and uh, eventually came up with the strap jig here. The great thing about it is when they grab it, uh, the, the first amount of pressure they feel, unlike a tube or regular jig where the jig head will will push against the inside of their jaw as soon as they feel any pressure it's this sticky little hook going right in their jaw uh, so especially with the bigger fish they uh, they tend to feel you and drop it very quickly so this will catch fish I've caught them in in water as cold as 33.4 degrees um, those big fish just know how to feel the angler on the other line and drop it right away. So, and this really, really helps a great deal. Um, there's really no no limit on what you can do with the the idea. Um, I have the black ones, the brown ones. That that one's a green one. I've played around with skirt material. This one is has been very good. It's a I use it as a swim jig. I'll just swim it through current. Here's one I tied with a little bit of a um, little bit of flashaboo, just to give it a little minnow look to it. Here's another one I did with some flashaboo and some uh, some bucktail. So it's a great versatile bait, 
and um, it all starts with this right here. The reason I I could buy these in bulk, um, I, I think I like pouring them myself because they're that way they're expendable. It keeps the cost down, uh, and I'll throw them in places that you know if it was something I bought, I may not want to go through as many of them and. Really, that's the basis of, of you know, do it yourself is, is um, you know, the, the pride of doing it yourself and also having your baits be expendable so that you put them wherever you want to put them without fear of, of losing them. So give the, uh, the strap jig a, a try. I know you'll like it.